Today we're going to try something really crazy. 23.9, close enough. These are very close to true O scale. You don't want to try this with a modern transformer. So this is based off of a real B&O caboose from 1916 up to 1938. That is not helpful. Now it is truth or consequences time. Part of the circuit is running through this wire arm here. Very simple but effective animation for the layout. Hello again, this is Mike with Toy Train Tips and Tricks. I don't know about you, but to me one of the most annoying things um, for Lionel, regardless of era, whether it's post-war, modern, MPC, is that most Lionel cabooses lack a rear coupler. Um, and so I understand, you know, trying to save costs and that, and the majority, especially of starter sets, you know, just to run loops around the Christmas tree, do you really need a rear coupler? But, you know, if you're doing something more, you know, more than just running around the Christmas tree, you're doing some actual, uh, shall we say, model railroading, uh, and you're doing some switching, um, or if, uh, you know, maybe you just want to be crazy and run cupola in first once in a while, uh, or make a lash up of cabooses, um, cabees, um, what, uh, yeah, cabeces. <laughs> anyway, um, you know, a rear coupler would sometimes, you know, come in handy. So for most of us, uh, if you want to do that, uh, the most common way to do that is to find a spare, um, you know, coupler truck with, um, you know, the, the same type of truck frame. Pop this one off, put that one on, and you've got a spare one of these laying around with no use. Um, and these are getting harder and harder to find. And if you're in an operator and you're using, you know, lower quality, not collectible items, uh, you know, sometimes that spare truck is, you know, worth more than the car itself. Um, and so it could be, uh, you know, a real hassle. And so it's, it's really not worth it, you know, especially to do an entire fleet of cabooses. You know, maybe you might do one special one that you can use for switching, um, but not a whole fleet. Well, I've got a solution. If, not so much for post-war cars, unfortunately, not yet anyway, but if you are in the MPC era, a caboose like, say, this one, with this type of truck, and check on the bottom if it has this little square right here, this little design here, which all of them that I've looked at do, then I have a quick and easy solution. Uh, you don't have to remove a truck. You don't have to buy a spare truck. All you need is, um, if you've got a 3D printer or access to a 3D printer, um, you can download and print this piece right here. And you too can have a rear coupler, whether it's on the Southern Pacific style, whether it's on uh, the porthole in 5C style, you have a working, well, not working, it's a dummy coupler, but it does work with Lionel couplers, and you can couple up your caboose on both ends. So how hard is this? Well, you need a caboose, you need this part, and a little dab of your favorite CA adhesive. And I'll show you the whole process right here. We flip the caboose over. We're going to do one live. All right. So I make sure I've got the end with this square facing out. And what's going to happen is this little tab. There, you can see it there. We'll go in the little hole shaped in the U. And that's just for guidance. It doesn't do much for structural support, but it kind of guides you make sure you're in the center. The real work is done by this plate right here. It's going to glue to the bottom of this plate right here. It's going to slide just like that. Put a dab of glue on there, hold it in place until it catches, and we're ready to go. So here we go. I'm going to take my adhesive. I'm going to put just a dab right there. Slide it into place. Okay, and I'm going to hold it there until it starts to set. 
once it starts to set on its own, I'm going to set it aside for on its own for 20 or 30 minutes and we will have a coupler in place. Now, uh, is this removable? Well, no, not really. Um, but again, I'm talking about operator grade, you know, items. These are not really collectible anyway. Uh, you know, so I wouldn't do this if you, you know, if you've got a rare pristine model of something. Um, but, uh, you know, these MPC Southern Pacific style cabooses, I mean, literally you can pick them up for two or three bucks a piece, even in really good shape. I mean, there's an identical one to this one right here. These things are everywhere. Okay. Looks like it's set enough on its own. I'm going to leave it like that. But like I said, this works with any of the MPC era cabooses, whether it's uh, an SP type or a porthole type, uh, a work caboose, a bay window, although most of those already had two couplers. Um, anything that has the little bump on the coupler will work for these. Uh, a quick note about the printing itself. Now, if you don't have a 3D printer or, you know, find a friend who has one, uh, many public libraries around the country have one that you can use for a small fee, basically to cover the cost of whatever uh, filament that you use. Um, there are pay-to-print sites, but honestly, by the time you pay for the print and the shipping, you're <laughs> better off buying a new truck and uh, doing it that way, if that is your option on these, because it's such a small part. Um, if you are printing, I printed these uh, using PLA which is the cheap and easy to print uh, filament. Uh, I've used 30% fill, which I have found to be sufficient uh, in my testing. If you're concerned about that not being strong enough, you know, feel free to, uh, you know, fill 50, 60, 70, 100%. Uh, you're just going to use more filament. It's going to take more time to print. Also, if you're concerned about, um, you know, the, uh, the adhesive giving way, you know, Put a little self-tapping screw right through those two plates. That'll give it some additional mechanical support. Um, if you think that the PLA is not strong enough, or if you're going to do something crazy and like run these outdoors, um, where temperature uh, fluctuations are an issue, especially heat, you might want to use a different type of filament. Um, you could use ABS styrene, although it is very finicky to print and i think this particular casting because you've got this uh, solid section it would cool slower than the outside you're probably going to get some warping so i wouldn't use abs um, but uh, petg or pet g uh, is another viable option it's a little bit more expensive than pla but it stands up to outdoors and it has a little bit more tensile strength to it than the pla does um, although again, this is a caboose, how much weight are you going to be pulling behind it? So that's it. So, uh, let's have some fun on the layout with these new, um, two coupler cabooses. All right. So here we have a, a string of newly coupled, <laughs> newly added couplers on these MPC cars. Now here on the end, I've got a semi scout. This Oh, wow, that's filthy. I really need to uh, do my hairdryer <laughs> trick with the trucks on that one. Um, but uh, the, the, this, this coupler hack will not work with those. Uh, I'm, I'll work on a design that does work with those, but uh, this particular part does not. Uh, I will post the part on um, both Thingiverse and uh, Tinkercad uh, where you can download it and have fun with it uh, for free or... Um, you know, send it off to a friend or whatever. And uh, who knows, maybe you'll come up with a design that works for those. Use mine as a starting point. But anyway, uh, just to prove that it works, let's run around the layout. And you can use whatever filament uh, color 
Uh, you'll notice that one of them is brown. That was my prototype. Um, and that one's brown just because it, I was working in brown and I didn't feel like uh, <laughs> switching the filament of the machine. Uh, but once I got the, uh, the design down, I printed out a batch of them in, uh, in black to match uh, the regular Lionel trucks and couplers. So there you go. Um, quick and easy solution to adding a coupler to the rear of your MPC era Lionel cabooses to better switch and uh, to have fun coupling bunches of them together any need that you have. So again, I hope you like this. Like it, share it, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your neighbors. Until then, keep the trains running. And we'll see you next time on Toy Train Tips and Tricks.